another episode of Getting Dirty with Glenn. I'm trying a new camera set up here in my garage. Uh, also be shooting out in the pole barn, but it's a little windy and loud out in the pole barn today with some rain going through. <laughs> Nothing louder than a little bit of rain hitting a tin roof. So what I'm going to be doing is I have my GoPro, uh, or my DJI Pocket 3 up here, which is a great camera because it follows me wherever I go. And I don't have to have another person there to shoot for me. And then I've got an overhead camera here, just my iPhone, that will show some of the stuff that I'm working on close up. Today what I want to talk about is labels. Labels make life easier. Um, I've been a proponent of lean management ever since my mentor of 35 plus years, Gene, introduced me to lean management. First two books he had me read were on lean management. Lean management is not about having the least number of employees. Lean management is about making everything easy so the employees that you have or you yourself enjoy what you're doing. Instead of spending 25 minutes every day looking for that thing in your office or in your pole barn, you can't find it. It's about having the right thing in the right place at the right time. So let's talk about labels. Um, I've used labels on uh, the label maker, like you see right here. Uh, I've always used these a label maker like this. You can get them on Amazon from $15 to $100, depending on what you want and the features you need. I don't use too many of the fancy features like vertical printing, that type of stuff. But um, you can get those labels. And how I've used labels in, the, in my client's gardens is how I started using labels a lot. This is over 30 years ago. Is the gardens that I do are pretty extensive for my clients. And once the gardens are installed, I know what everything is in their garden. But when they go out there, I like them to learn what the plants are. So I started creating labels for my clients. They don't have to pull the blueprint out. Um, well, I don't think anybody does blueprints anymore. But they don't have to pull the plan out, digital, whatever form it is. They can just go out in their garden and go, oh, that's a columnar hornbeam. Or they can go, oh, little lamb hydrangea. Uh, they're so easy to make. But the reason why I did it is, one, my clients can learn their plants that are out there. Two, when they have friends come over, it helps my clients look like they know more about the plants than they might know, actually. They go, oh yeah, that's a cloner hornbeam, because they will know the plants. That's why I learned plants when I was at Iowa State University getting my degree in landscape architecture. The plants were labeled. Um, and it also helps, from a lean management standpoint, when I'm in business, is I don't have a client calling me going, you know, Glenn, that green sticky pokey thing that's about knee high, it looks like it might have a pest problem or you need to prune it. Instead, they can go out there and they go, oh, you know, uh, <laughs> excuse me, that's a dwarf Alberta spruce or that's a glow blue spruce or whatever it might be. They can just go out there and tell me. I can either bring a plant out to replace it or I can bring the right tools to prune it or uh, the organic products to clean up the insects or stuff that are on there. I also use labels throughout the warehouse, pole barn, truck, all my, anything that has tire pressure is labeled, my lawnmower, my enclosed trailer, my bikes, um, anything that I need to look stuff up for, it's more efficient to have it labeled. And I probably save myself 100 hours every season, no exaggeration, by just having things labeled. And even within a garden, you can have things labeled. Like if you want clients to know that the trees are maybe all this dark blue label, maybe all the perennials are lavender, maybe ground covers are green because these labels, and I'll have a link to these, these labels, um, I'll put it underneath the overhead camera here so you can see a little bit better. These labels have this nice coating on here and they, they're nice aluminum. They slide right on these risers and these risers come in different lengths depending if you're labeling a ground cover a shrub or a tree, that makes it easier. You can see here, they're folded, they're nice and strong, they're not gonna bend. And what I like about labels is you can get these labels, I'll put this once again on the overhead camera. You can get the labels, I like white background, white with uh, black printing on it. You can get them clear with black printing, you can get a lot of different color combinations as well, but I think this white and black has served me well over the last 30 plus years. They're easy to see. They don't 
smudge, they don't wipe off. I've had these in clients' gardens sometimes for five or 10 years, and they almost look brand new. If you do want to change it, and you don't want to buy another one of these uh, metal tabs, you can just put your finger underneath here and pull that off, and then put another label right over this. Or if it's the same size label you want to cheat, you can just put the label right over the old label. So there's so many benefits to making labels like that. Just makes everything easier. Um, one tip that I do have when you're printing, <laughs> excuse me, printing labels out of your label maker, when they come out, they have a little leader on here. So if you print six or seven labels out of time, you'll waste a little bit less leader on the front. Now, there's probably a setting in here to adjust that. I haven't found it or maybe haven't taken the time to find it because it's such a little amount, it's like a half an inch of tape. Um, that's how I use labels. You can use these, like I said, in vegetable gardens, shrubs, trees. Just makes everything easier in the garden. Thanks for watching. I'll see you out in the garden.